Hello everybody, my name is Lee. I'm with the Best Top Marketing Team and today we'll be installing the Sunrider Pro Hardtop on your JL Wrangler. This should take about 45 minutes and the install will be the same whether it's a two-door or four-door or whether you have the black diamond or tool material. So the first thing we're going to do is open the box and lay out the components to make sure that we have everything. What we're going to be working with is the actual Sunrider Pro Hardtop pre-installed unit over here. We'll have two door surrounds, we'll have the rear clamp, we'll have two bezels, we'll have four 80 millimeter T40 bolts, and we will have six 20 millimeter T40 bolts. All right, now that we have all the parts out of the box and sorted and organized, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and remove the freedom panels from your Jeep, and you'll find the instructions to do that in your owner's manual. It's a very simple process, it should take you about five minutes. Next, we're gonna grab a rag, and we're gonna clean two areas where the Sunrider for hardtop is gonna make contact with the Jeep. We're gonna clean the seal and the back of the windshield frame here, and we're also gonna clean along the front edge of the rear portion of the hardtop. That'll help promote a better water and wind seal. We're going to take care of one of the components of install right here on the bench before we even bring this to the Jeep. Uh, so what we'll be doing is we'll be securing the door rail to the actual Sunrider for hardtop mechanism. Uh, so before we get into that, I want to make sure that everything is oriented properly. So the way you see this on the desk here is basically the way it would be retracted on the Jeep. Uh, the header is at the top and you can tell that that would fold forward. So the front of the Jeep right now is facing towards you. Uh, we'll also take the door surround and Note that the uh, C-clamp with the hinged part is going to be at the front of the Jeep as well. These set of holes are going to line up with this portion of the actual Sunrider for hardtop mechanism. So what we want to do is put this Z-clip into this hole through the outside of the door surround toward the inside so that it rests inside that little recess. Once you get the Z-clip from the Sunrider for hardtop into the door surround, uh, move over to the other side, repeat the same steps over there, and then we'll work on bolting the door rail to the Sunrider. Holding the door surround to the Sunrider, I'm gonna flip this up and you'll notice on the back here we have four holes. Two of these holes are going to be locators and one of those is non-slotted. So you'll find two locator pins, one going through a non-slotted hole, one going through a slotted hole, and then that's going to yield two slots that we can put the 20 millimeter bolts through. And we'll just start those by hand. And then we will tighten them with a T40. and we'll repeat those steps on the other side. Now that we have the door rails attached to the Sunrider, uh, it's time to bring it over to the Jeep and we're going to lift it on top. Now it's uh, a very handy time to have a buddy help you out with this. So I'm gonna pass this over to Rick and he's gonna catch it on the other side. As you lower the assembly down onto the Jeep, a couple things to note. This hinged portion has to clear the sport bar, so make sure that's gonna to go toward the outside. You'll notice this protruding portion of the top of the door rail that is going to correspond into this hole here, and you'll feel very positively when that snaps in there. On the bottom side of the door rail, we're gonna have a mucket seal, which helps make sure water goes in the right direction. We'll have one of those in the front and one of those in the rear. So make sure they don't get folded over or tucked into the door rail in any way, and make sure the foam that's attached to the door rail from the factory stays there. All right, next to secure the door rail to the Jeep itself, we're gonna grab two of these 80 millimeter bolts and one of these bezels, and that's per side. So you'll put one of these right in the bottom of this hinged portion in the front. 
and then you'll have one in the rear as well. In the rear of the door surround where we don't have that hinged portion, that's where we're going to use this bezel. So just slip the bolt through the bezel. And then we'll go through the sport bar and into the Sunrider. Start them both by hand, that way we won't have to worry about cross-threading. And we'll tighten them up with the T40. All right. All right, we are already just about done. The only components you should have left are the rear clamp and two more of the 20 millimeter bolts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this clamp with the logo facing upright and the logo facing toward the front of the vehicle. We're gonna hold it like this and then it's going to connect the hardtop with the Sunrider for hardtop right in the center of the vehicle. After you have it in place, we're just going to run two of these 20 millimeter bolts into it. So now with the Sunrider fully attached to the Jeep, we're gonna go ahead and fold it forward. And the easiest way to do that is with the flat four fingers, we're gonna slide it underneath the header and just pull the whole unit forward. These latches are designed to be able to work with one hand each. So what we're gonna do is pull that whole latch down and with your index finger, push forward on the metal hook part and then lift up with the latch. We'll do that on both sides. Once you come to a safe stop, if you wanna open it up again, it's very simple. Just pull down on the latch and the hook will automatically retract. We'll do that on both sides. And then we can just push back on the header to retract the Sunrider. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Now we have the Sunrider for hardtop on our JL Wrangler here. If you have any questions along your installation process, please reach out to our customer service team. They're here answering phones from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mountain Time, Monday through Friday, and that covers us 9 to 5, coast to coast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out on the trails.